Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to talk about what's changing inside your tennis pro shop or your local tennis shop. Don't get blindsided. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So if you haven't walked in to your local tennis pro shop or a tennis department in one of the bigger stores um, in years, you're going to be surprised. But what are you going to be surprised about? Well, the prices of rackets have steadily been going up for probably the last five years now. Uh, most tennis rackets, um, up until about five, six years ago, have remained very steady at the $199 to $200 price point, um, except for maybe a Roger Federer special edition or something like that. But for the most part, $200 was the sweet spot in most rackets. But um, prices have been steadily going up. I feel like it's been about $10 every two years. So every time a new model comes out, they jack it up another $10. So let's start actually by uh, the first thing that I was a little surprised at uh, was the speeds here. You know, these were, I want to say 199 bucks, maybe six, seven years ago, and it was 209. 219, 229. So now they're 239 uh, for these head speed pros and head speed MPs. So what's next? Probably 249, right? So 250 may be the two, the uh the new sweet spot in pricing. Uh that's what I think most of the manufacturers want to get to in their higher end rackets. Uh, because I mean, it's like, it didn't stop. I thought it would stop at 219. It didn't stop there. It didn't stop at 229. So 239. Well, what's next? The only thing that's possible is 249, right? But that's only in the pro and the, uh, the MP versions, the S's and the lower, lower versions, uh, remain a little cheaper, a little cheaper. Um, even radicals have gone up. Right, these are 229. So I was like, wow, radicals used to be 179 when I remember it, but I feel like that was 10, 15 years ago. But that'll blindside you, right? 229 for a radical. Um, I'm a little shocked. Uh, I mean, even even stands are at 239. Uh, e zones are at 229, 239, 239. So 239 is kind of like 239 is like the new norm now for everything. Um, surprisingly, though, ultras are still 199 because I'm guessing that's kind of like a price point racket for them. We know feds have been 249 for a while now, so they've remained um, steady with that. Pro staffs are 229, right? Anything special edition like that Roland Garros is going to be a little more. I believe those are 229, 239 too. Clashes are 249 since inception. Uh, pure drives have gone up. Remember when pure drives used to be 199? They are 229 now. Arrows, 229 now. So I'm guessing Babylon's going to follow suit too and try to get to that 249 realm too in the next two to four years as new rackets or new transitions change in the pure drive line, the arrow line, and the uh, strike lines. Um, what else was I gonna say here? That, that, that. Yeah, oh, remember when they wanted to get like 259 for these, right? Uh, this wasn't popular enough to get 240, 259 because they were trying to sell them in pairs for three, for 390, no, $500. It was $500. You get a pair of these, but they were trying to get 259 for this racket. Um, I don't think there were 
enough takers. Um, but I think the price point of this VS is still um, 259 though. Um, so you'll see and you'll be surprised as these things go up. Um, balls have pretty much remained the same. Grips have gone up a couple bucks. Uh, these things have gone up a few dollars. They were like six. I think they're maybe seven now. Uh, some of these other ones have gone up um, just slightly, uh, maybe six, seven dollars, eight dollars max, uh, you know, at on those online sites. Um, but pretty much grips are steadily going up. Socks have not changed, I have to say. So that is a good thing. Shoes have been going up. Uh, I'm going to, my Asics, these speeds have gone up. And I think it was like $109. Now they're $125. Uh, gel Res 8s. Gel Res 8s were $119 when I first started selling these. Uh, now they're up to $135. So it's like 5 bucks every two years that they've been steadily going up. Uh, when these were first launched, these are the Cord FFs, and they were 159. Uh, now they're 165. So you will be seeing these shoes go up steadily, like $5 every two years. Uh, let's swing on over to the strings here. So strings, for the most part, haven't changed much in terms of pricing, um, but the labor cost has. Uh, people, there are less people stringing. Rents are going up, right? Utilities are going up. So if you actually have to bring uh, a racket in for somebody to string in a store, right? They have all this overhead that they have to charge you. And that's labor, right? You can't really discount labor because somebody actually has to physically string your racket. So that has gone up in the last, I want to say, five, ten years too. The labor of the stringing. And the final thing that's going to blindside you is tennis bags. You no longer get your own little carrying case with your brand new racket purchase you just get your racket now and that's all you get you wouldn't believe how many people on a daily basis say doesn't it come with a cover it hasn't come with a cover in over 10 years guys so that's that tells me how long the last time it was when you bought a racket so when we used to get them right i would dump literally 80 percent of those uh, i would used to take them to goodwill but they stopped wanting them too because they got no room for that and nobody really buys it. So companies said, ah, screw it. We'll let them buy a bag. So speaking of bags, um, the bags have gone lesser quality and higher price. And for the most part, uglier. So next time you're shopping for a bag, better have an open mind because they're going to be uglier, lower quality, and you're going to be paying a premium for them. Um, and they're not very good. But... That's just, it is what it is now. They used to make better bags in the 80s, I feel like. So, so that's what's going to blindside you next time you go into a pro shop. So listen to me and be prepared. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.